happening everyone? This is Liam Caddison here and today we're going to be reacting to episode number 10 of season 4 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is The Patriot. Um, obviously a nice um, type to Jeffrey Mace who is of course Patriot and I was wondering, oh, we're going to get a bit of backstory to Vienna and whatnot after uh, Chichala's uh, father was killed and whatnot in that explosion of course. I don't think I mentioned that but there we go, so I'm aware. Um, but I don't think we're going to get into a bit, of, but it's just really, really interesting that we that this is going to tie into Jeffrey and whatnot. He's an amazing character, and yeah, I mean, it, I could be wrong. I We could get a bit of backstory. I mean, it didn't hurt with a bit of information about Hydra, but we shall wait and see. Um, but yeah, Season 4 has just been really incredible thus far. I mean, the last episode, the cloth was unveiled from Ada and Radcliffe as well, seemingly, after he set up everything with May and whatnot, and uh, had um, Ada 2.0 built with Ada, uh, Ada 1's demise and that, and didn't seem to face him because it was, uh, it was all going his direction, so... God damn it, Radcliffe, I liked you as well. God damn. But yes, this is the Patriot. I'm so um, so hyped to see a bit more Jeffrey Mace action because he's just been an incredible asset to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4. So without further ado, this is the Patriot. Let's go. Finally get to say thank you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he... he... Uh, right now, I would like to invite Sunbury's own Michelle Caldwell up to tell the story. Good to say. Lives. Daisy's like... Oh, um, is this necessary? But Thank you to yes, me. this is what Daisy needs. It's Let's do this. Oh shit! Snap! Uh oh. Oh shh. Wait. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just take pictures whilst everything is going to hell. Of course, an appreciation day has to go to shit. It's Superhero 101. Were they Judas bullets or something? Because they gave off the same effects. Like in Luke Cage. Oh shh! Phase 2. Shit! They're doing everything in their pa- Oh. Crap. Why? Why you gotta do this to Mace? If a jet crashes in the woods and there's no one there to hear it, stay close to the guy with super strength. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. You ruined his... <laughs> now shit's real. But God damn. They're going all out to try and put him in a vulnerable position. I mean... Phase 1 had a 13% chance, and no doubt that the plane crash wasn't to kill him either. Now, we're playing a longer, more nuanced game, hopefully, with less violence. Exactly. Isn't the real agent May already prone to violence? True, but... It's more, it's more safer to try and... Tell me they're alive. I don't know. We lost get May, like get this May, the LMD May, to the dark hole, whilst she has no idea about what she really is. Find the case. Case has importance. Like it or not, he's in charge. Ah, this is really so. What that? Whatever's in that case Coulson? must be really, really. I don't know, lucrative? Well, maybe we could just reboot the head in a controlled environment and... No, let's, let's, let's just Please. exit that lane right now. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> she woke. Oh, shh. This is good. Oh, boy. And she's, she's freeing herself from the shackles. Ah, that's one nasty booger. I knew it was real. The drink shoot. Oh, well, just dive it. Oh, Ada. <laughs> oh, shit the hell. At least you didn't snap her neck, so that's an improvement. Yeah, was you. Ooh, that's a dirty look. I've just judged what it takes to keep Agent May comfortable. 
Oh. That's the look I give if someone says there's no coffee. <laughs> An early mission of ours. Maybe in Madrid? Coulson had a mustache. <laughs> he gave me the keys. Whoa. And told me not to let anyone else know. We're gonna find him, you know. I know. I mean, I know this is fake made, just but... can't shake this feeling. She still off. feels... Re yeah. Yeah, fake. You had the pleasure of putting your outfit down. Oh, God. And believe me when I tell you, <laughs> I can make Siberia feel like a luau if you don't start giving me some answers. <clears throat> the hammer shatters glass, but hardens steel. Oh. You are glass. Oh, shit! Oh, dearie. Ah, oh, shit! Well, he got his briefcase! Oh, that was as Ah, there we go. Good work, guys. But... What the hell's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> They're just, like, scratching their heads. They don't even know what's in the briefcase. It's dead. Oh! No, 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 no. Ouch! It's the thing that was keeping him strong and whatnot. Wait, so he's not an inhuman, is he? If that was medication or whatever, medicine. No, he couldn't. He doesn't have inhuman powers. He doesn't have powers at all. It was just injecting them into him. Aww version of that formula you confiscated from Agent Johnson's father. That's oh, oh shh. So it's a spot a just up now. The guy nearly please. killed us. We're not idiots. We took the bad stuff out. Modified, right. But anyway. Oh, oh, okay. So you're just, you're just mostly idiots. <laughs> Some <laughs> shit. Him when he needed to put on a show for a congressman. Say, lift a car. So why the inhuman stick, though? He was though? off the final dose once I can... I mean... Stop. I don't know if he got the next one. I guess it's just Which kind of put on a... Which that briefcase? Without it. Mace is about as strong as a paper bag in a rainstorm. Explains why I don't know how so to feel about burns. that because, yeah, in some sense, I want to this. feel a bit and of sympathy. You too, I hate that you bring in this woman to scare me. Oh, the last you... Hydra operative we captured didn't take Agent Simmons seriously. Either. Yeah. <laughs> What's that saying you <laughs> this is not going to look good for you. <laughs> That's Ada's head is oh shit! See, keeping that head around was oh shit. No, no. We'll talk this through. Oh! The shield's back. The sh <laughs> That's them. To yeah. I don't think they want to talk. Nah. <laughs> It's it. yeah, it will do. <laughs> oh sh! Oh, go on, Mac. Go on, Mac. I'm running out. Have to, anything to yeah, survive. I'm get this table. What's happened? This is really, really uh, super at the minute. With the super strength and all, no better time to practice than when your life depends on it. Um, th uh, this is new territory for him. And is that? Someone with inhuman powers. Quick, coming in to save the day is you. Go on, Ellen. May. Ellen May. Yeah. Nice. Hey. You okay? I mean. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm. Uh, one thing that is worrying. Agent May is resilient. A dragon to slay. Shall I design a dragon? No. <laughs> Metaphorical. <laughs> I have something else in mind. So she's gonna give her what she wants to kind of. Yeah, okay. Don't worry. We gotta. I'm gonna figure out what broke you. Thank you, Fitz. Thank you. Fitz! Leave well and. Uh, this is not good. But they were treating me and that's like the man I always wanted to be. A few months based later, on a lie and came to me with an offer. I thought I could be the face to end in human oh. prejudice. And you wanted to help. This is a kind of a I sad could. story in a sense, but I believe 
that inhumans deserve the same rights as anyone else in this country. Wow. I love him. Like, he's just a really... I'll call a press conference. Resign. No, no, no. Reinstate you as director. Oh. Damn. You're not going anywhere. Go on, Phil. Phil, go on. Excuse me? You're staying Shields on. Play the hero. Keep oh. the title. Handle the politics. I never loved that part anyway. <laughs> But when it comes to operations, he's make gonna no mistake. Right, he's in the shadows. From now on, I'm calling the shots. Nice. So Phil we'll is in a the director in the shadows. It's kind of like Shield and the ATC. You figured season three. Oh, may. Uh oh, she is gonna be. She's aware. She's aware. Move, move. We got some okay? LMD stuff too. Never better. Oh. This is a bit of a game changer. She now knows. Identity crisis. So it's going to be interesting to find out how this is going to progress. The LMD. Well, now May knows. May is aware about who she is, what she really is. And I'm intrigued to see how that's going to go down um, in maybe next episode, maybe the episode after, who knows. But I'm interested to see if she's going to keep this a secret or uh, until shit hits the pan or if she is going to basically tell. And well, it's, it's so unpredictable about what can happen now. I'm just really super engrossed with this. LMD story at the minute, but um, damn, this that's been a really, really awesome episode. Yeah, it might bit, seem a bit fillerish on the front, but you still had some LMD action in terms of, like, further progressing the story. Like I said, with the um, whole May knowing about her LMD crisis going on, but also Radcliffe and Ada, Ada, Ada given that discussion about how she didn't need to kill Nathanson. Poor guy had a family. And, and the dirty look she gave as well, which uh, has me... Feeling worried for Radcliffe, it kind of turning your master kind of stuff may be happening at, at some point, but also um, a way to ca try and keep May um, in the dark still, like to keep her calm because she had that little mini fight with a with Ada, and yeah, it didn't all go down well for May, but also with Fitz as well, which I'll get onto in a bit. But um, yeah, May fighting her dragon, as he said metaphorically. Now. I'm one. Can we just get a peek inside her head? And the reason why I'm saying this is because we all know fighting her dragon is metaphorical. So she's so give her something that she can be like pleasure to in terms of fighting. Grant Ward, do it because we need him like Tom Cavanagh appearance every season, and it would be so good to peek inside her head because she never got the chance to do what she wanted to do to him. And I think that would be really, really blissful. Like, it would calm her right down where she's not, like, struggling and whatnot, like we saw earlier in the episode. It would be her paradise. So do that, please. Um, but yes, it was really emotional about the Patriot as well, like, uh, about Jeffrey, because we found out the truth. He's not an inhuman, and they had to put on the front when they super serumed him after the Vienna incident, of course. Uh, where he tripped, of course. It all goes back to uh, Gemma's speech in episode 5 and how he told Daisy if they gave me too much credit for it because they did with um, the truth coming out in this episode. But, man, I'm, I have to applaud... I mean, I do this all the time with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but they do come up with some great and unpredictable stories because usually... You know, someone, a politician or whoever has a secret and they usually end up being the bad guy. This secret that they're hiding, they put on a, fr uh, they put on a front and that secret you, uh, behind the shadows usually turns out to be, you know, oh god, this is bad news stuff. But it's quite the reverse in this case because he's actually, he's actually gut punched by this. Like with the whole revelation the the fact that he know uh, that everyone knows and he was going to resign because of this matter 
it's really refreshing to see, and it make I mean, Jeffrey's a likable character anyways, but it makes you feel even more sorry for him because it's a good punch, and, you know, he, he even said about how, uh, about inhuman rights, it just makes you appreciate him even more, how he wants the world, and how he wants humanity and inhumans to basically live as one in, in this world. It's just really, really beautiful to see, and I just, I just want to give him a hug. Because he's he's such a delightful guy. There's not a bad word about him at the minute. Um, like I said, they they're doing this um, good guy politician is actually a good guy stuff really unpredictably well. Uh, because like I said, you usually have a guy who has a secret and then he turns out to be bad news and we have to put a stop to him. But not Jeffrey. Jeffrey's one of those rare breeds, and I just really really love it. But, yeah, like I said, you really felt sorry for him when the truth came out, but he was, but, it all, when he confronted those guys, uh, with his Patriot suit on, shows he didn't need his super strength to be strong, because he was so strong there. I'm rooting for you, Jeffrey, definitely. But, damn, that was a really, that was really powerful stuff, and, um, of course, it, it was a nice little tie back to Cal of when he took his super suit room. Also... Because I think Luke Cage happened around this time with the Judas bullets at the beginning. Um, so it's a nice little tie back to Luke Cage as well. Uh, because I think, I'm sure it was happening just around this time. Um, well, this is more easier to pinpoint the date now. So it will have been happening because Luke Cage was broadcast around this time last year. So was uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4 for you guys. So it's a nice little tie back, nice little tie into the MCU TV. I know it will be on different shows. This, I'm assuming this is on ABC for you American guys, whereas it's a more Netflix show. So it's still connected, as it's as they say for the Marvel Universe. But really, a really great deal of sympathy you felt for Jeffrey. I'm wondering how this will go about now. Phil's back being in the director in the shadows, but in the front... It's Jeffrey, and uh, I'm glad that he's still director in some capacity. Fitz as well. Fitz, what are you doing? Because he's now downloaded that information onto his phone. This is going to go a right, especially with the fact that he's keeping Ada's head in storage, and he's putting more research into it about uh, how what went wrong and whatnot. When Gemma, when we had that little conflict between Gemma and Fitz, of course. Uh, earlier about what they should do with Ada and we've already got an active decoy of Ada r walking around literally we've got, now got a second still active so it's going to be pretty bad news I imagine with the whole um, Ada situation and I'm just having painful season 2 vibes again where you know they're not going to be in a comfortable uh, situation not in terms of peril and whatnot but in terms of like I don't know a difficult situation that they might have verbally like conflict and like oh you kept this from me I'm not sure but whatever whatever's gonna go down it's not going to end well but no that was a really decent episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. the truth was exposed about Jeffrey but it was so great that they played an unpredictable twist about how he felt he was really hurt by it and I can't wait to see where things go from here uh, from here on, especially with May as well, with the whole uh, now she knows factor going on. But it was a really enjoyable episode. I just su I'm just super fascinated by season four. I know I said it a bunch of times right now, but they're really going to work on this season, and I can't wait to see the remaining episodes. I'm approaching the halfway point of season four as well, so Woo! but yes, let that was great. Enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!